Hey guys, got the top all smooth. Getting ready to put a gel coat on it and get it ready to start making the mold. All right, so I just bought this spray gun at Harbor Freight. Pretty cheap, I think it was like 30 bucks or something like that. Comes with a regular regulator on it. And we're gonna be spraying this plug with Duracoat High Gloss Black. I got that on Composite Envisions. And we're gonna use about 2% of this um, MEKP. And that's just gonna give it a really glossy, flat finish. It's already pretty smooth, but that's gonna get it a lot better finish for the mold. So let's get started. All right, it's the next day and the gel coat's all dry. Came out pretty good. I started to sand this half of it, trying to get all the low spots out of it. I really like this black, gloss black color because all the shiny spots show through where it's a little low. So when I get all that matte, it'll be ready to move on to the next sand grit. Right now this, I'm using this 120 orbital. It's a lot quicker than you doing it by hand. So after I hit it all with 120 and get it pretty level, I'll hit it with probably 220 by hand and see how it looks. I may go up to 400 after that. So I've got it sanded down. Went ahead and sanded it to 400 wet sand. So it's ready to make the mold. All right, so I got all my flanges on there and I put some clay in between the flanges and the part. That way it will not mechanically lock to the, the plug and the mold will pop off easier. So next we're gonna do some wax release agent and PBA and we'll start laying some fiberglass on. All right, I did three coats of that Pardol paste wax and three coats of the PBA. I just sprayed it in my Harbor Freight gun that I used earlier. Worked great. So now I'm just gonna coat it with some of that gel coat and start putting the fiberglass on it. So I had a little issue with making the mold last night. Had the gel coat on there with the release agent underneath it and went to go put the first layer of fiberglass on. And when I put it on, it had a little bit of waves in it. So I had to reposition that first cloth on there. And when I pulled the cloth up to reposition it, the gel coat was still sticky and it pulled the gel coat off of the, the hard top. Uh, I guess because the re release agent worked so well, it pulled the gel coat off with it. So I ended up just pulling that whole sheet of fiberglass off. Um, and I'm gonna have to recoat the whole thing in gel coat again and put another layer of fiberglass on, just restart the whole process. All right, so we got the hard top all gel coated again, back to where it was when I messed up the last time. And we're just gonna lay some fiberglass layers and let it cure and pop the mold off.
All right, guys, it's been 48 hours. This thing's hard as a rock. Ready to get this thing pulled off and see what the underside looks like. Check it out. Little dude didn't make it. By the way, this is the aftermath of the 3D printed mold plug. Um, it's still relatively intact. Uh, there's a big crack down there here, but you know, I had to tear this whole big back section off to get the plug out of the mold. Um, probably should have done like a two piece mold, but oh well, it came out. Got some cracks. It's pretty severely damaged, but the overall shape is still there. Going over to the mold here. Finish came out pretty good. It needs a polish. Need to get rid of all this clay fillet, filleting wax that I got on there. But Overall, not bad. So I'm just gonna throw this hard top back onto here so that it has the right shape, the dimensions are all right. And we're gonna throw a lot more structure at this mold to make it solid in the shape to where it doesn't deform any when I go to make the carbon fiber part out of the mold. All right, thanks for watching. Tune in next time. We'll make this mold a little bit stronger and hopefully build a carbon fiber part out of it.